so you got them and I hand them over to me. And, and I haven't seen them before, so s some numbers I might have to you know pull out of the ether, but we'll check them over the breaks. Okay. And if I don't know an answer, I'll just say, you know, Chuck, I don't have a clue. Go to the next one. <laughs> we know that's not going to happen, but that's cool. <laughs> and, I, and I must say, I am impressed with the fact that you sit there, you, you have a computer in front of you, but I noticed that you always make sure that you close it before we start this. And I think that's your way of saying, that's right. That's right. The, that, that's the right. The computer in, up here is where this is coming from. Bring it on. Yeah. Okay. All right, here go we go. It. All right, so let's uh, let's go to Facebook first. I mean, we got some Google Plus and we got some Twitter here, but let's go to Facebook first. I'm going to start off on a fun on a fun note. <laughs> this is from Matthew Vixell. Okay, what could the future of sports look like in space? Will Harry Potter fans get a chance to see a version of Quidditch implemented in microgravity? What effects would increased or decreased gravity have on water sports? So two, three real questions there. I'm more, I'm more concerned about the Quidditch, but... Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. Last I checked, in Quidditch, they fly, right? That's right. So, so one of the advantages of flying is that you're, you're not so much thinking about gravity, because you can go anywhere in the three dimensions that space gives. It's we people who can't fly, who are limited to the two dimensions of Earth's surface. Mm. So, the broom, which they steer by leaning, left or right, mm -hmm. and has natural lift to it, mm -hmm. if you are in the vacuum of space, free-falling anywhere, then there is no sort of net gravity force on you. The buoyant would be unnecessary. In fact, if it still had a buoyant force, it wouldn't know where to buoyant you towards. Right. Right. If if, if you're if, if it wants to lift you up, and in space there is no up. up right. You'd have brooms going every which direction. <laughs> <Not knowing. laughs> so basically, Quidditch would look like a Chinese fire drill. Yeah, it would be a, quite a random looking. So you'd have you need surely the wizards. So they would specially design a broom for the specific purposes of space Quidditch, first of all. Now, if now there are two kinds of space Quidditch you might imagine. One that's in the vacuum of space and they're wearing space helmets, mm -hmm. or one that's on a planet that has an atmosphere and it just has a slightly different gravity. All right, so if it's a slightly different gravity, it's the same it's game. It's the same game. Same game, right. so that's not even interesting. But if you're in the vacuum of space, uh, then... Uh, let me see. So, so there'd be no atmospheric drag on uh, uh, on anything you throw, mm -hmm. and the what do you call the, the little birdie thingy with the flappy wings? Um, um, oh God! Oh, now it's killing me. Oh, you know we now have but a, we know a what zillion it is. Harry Potter fans say, They're "Oh my God!" Right. Lost. How could you <laughs> not know that? It's the snitch. It's the it snitch. is the snitch. Yes. Nice job. Okay. That was impressive. I got the all from my kids. <laughs> <laughs> so the snitch, of course. We presume is uh, it doesn't have broom powers, but is actually aerodynamically supporting itself with flapping wings. Oh, so yes, like hum, uh, like like uh, a hummingbird, like a hummingbird style. Yeah. So uh, if wings are useless in zero g. <laughs> that was the odd thing about naming the lunar module the Eagle. That kind of worried me a bit. In 1969, Apollo 11, the lunar module. Uh, what does Neil Armstrong say when he lands? Houston, Tranquility Base here, the eagle, eagle has, has landed. landed. And their patch was an eagle extending out its wings. This Because every mission has a, a, a uniquely designed mission patch. This one had wings extended outward, and it was hovering over the lunar surface. No! <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay? A bird on an airless planet is a brick. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the snitch, they'd have to redesign the snitch for that one. So it could be fun, but yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 